it's time. This show has been going on for so long, Suthep Thog Subunch held a meeting of supporters from around the country on Saturday. It must come to an end. Whether it will be a happy ending depends on the great mass of people in this country and our state officials. Ent Island has been in turmoil since the protests flared up in November, the latest phasing nearly a decade of antagonism between the Bangkok-based establishment and supporters of former Premier Thaksin Shinawatra, who won huge support among the rural and urban poor but was ousted by the army in 2006. And Thaksin's sister, Yingluk Shinawatra, was forced to step down as Prime Minister on May 7 when the country's constitutional court found her and nine ministers guilty of abuse of power. And remaining cabinet members selected Commerce Minister Nua Tamrong Boon Son Payson to replace her, but the anti-government protesters led by Suthep said they had no authority to do that and want all the ministers replaced. And Suthep told Saturday's meeting, held in Government House where the Prime Minister normally works but which he has commandeered, that the mass rallies would start on Monday. And ahead of that, he would meet with state company officials and sympathetic retired civil servants on Sunday to draw up plans for a new administration and then he wanted to meet serving top civil servants on Thursday. And Island has not had a lower house of parliament since December when Yung Luck dissolved the House and called a general election. Voting was disrupted by Suthep's supporters and the election was then declared void by the Constitutional Court. A proposed rerun on July 20 is looking increasingly unlikely. In the Upper House Senate, half of whose members are appointed and many of them establishment figures with views close to Suthep, is trying to break the impasse. And on Friday, after a meeting of a limited group of senators, its newly elected speaker said the Senate was prepared to choose an interim prime minister but members wanted to speak to political parties first. They will meet the government on Monday. And Suthep wanted more immediate action and is now putting pressure on the Senate to hurry things along. And missed deadlines and he has set numerous deadlines for the government to step down in recent months and issued many ultimatums, including telling civil servants and the security forces to report to him, to little effect. And however, his powers of disruption remain. In acting Premier Nguyen Rong was forced to flee from a meeting with election officials on Thursday when Suthep led his supporters into the Air Force compound where the talks were being held. And the Wachamrong runs a caretaker government with limited authority and Senate head Sarakai argues that a prime minister with full powers is needed to get the country out of the political and economic mess. And data on Monday is expected to show the economy contracted in the first quarter as confidence slumped and investment dried up because of the political crisis. Some economists fear the economy is slipping into recession. And pro Thaksin, red shirts, Camped in their thousands on the outskirts of Bangkok say they will defend the government if it looks like being forced out. And Thaksin, who now lives in exile to avoid serving a jail sentence for abuse of power is a former telecoms tycoon who is adored by the poor for policies that raised their living standards from 2001. Opponents say he was corrupt, authoritarian and disrespectful towards the monarchy and 28 people have been killed in political violence since November, including three during a gun and grenade attack on anti-government protesters in Bangkok on Thursday. And the attack prompted the army chief to warn that his men may need to come out in full force if violence escalated. And, writing by Alan Raybold, editing by Matt